is a lake and in the lake there is water and when the water on the surface of the lake becomes warm enough it turns from liquid water into steam or the gas form of water so liquid becomes gas and this is called evaporation and the water evaporates into the atmosphere or into the air as steam comes into the atmosphere it becomes a bit colder and it turns into small small water droplets and this is when you start to see clouds as it gets colder and colder and more water droplets emerge then the clouds get bigger and much heavier and when the cloud gets heavy enough the water droplets become bigger and then they start to fall down back onto the ground and this is how rain happens so the gas condenses this is called condensation gas becomes liquid again and it rains to the ground and say there was a hill like this and if the rain falls down on the top of the hill then it needs to come down somehow and this is where we get rivers so the water will start to flow down the hill like so and water will also evaporate from the river same as the lake same as any body of water some of the water is going to be sucked into the ground and this water is called groundwater this is the type of water that we can drink because it's been filtered through the different particles in the ground it's become very very clean and these rivers and also the groundwater can form new bodies of water for example if we draw something here the river and the groundwater turn into a new lake and from this new lake as the surface water gets warm enough more water is going to evaporate into the air now on top of a very tall mountain there is usually ice and snow all the time and ice is the solid form of water now sometimes if the sun is warm enough the ice turns into steam directly and this is called sublimation so the solid becomes gas without being liquid first in between and then if it's very very cold the water vapor or steam in the air can turn straight into ice without being water first so from gas straight into solid and this is called deposition so this is the opposite of sublimation deposition